Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a scrapbook process video for you using the Coco Vanilla Midnight Kit. I am loving this kit. Um, this kit is only available on the Coco Vanilla website, which is in Australia. But um, uh, Cherry on Top is now carrying Coco Vanilla, so there are some collections there if you're interested in this Coco Vanilla company. Everything there is just beautiful. Okay, so I'm taking this scripty paper and I'm going to be taking clear gesso. And I'm just going to do um, paint that all over the top of the paper, just kind of in the middle-ish area, because I want to use some watercolor to... Um, to just have some watercolor type of um, background on this scripty paint or scripty paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. You just need to make sure you're covering the parts where you're going to put watercolor so it doesn't warp the paper. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm looking for scraps of paper so that I can back my photo. And I do go with three different pieces of paper. I am using the gray diamond or jewel shape cardstock and I'm going to cut a piece of that off and you'll see here that it's already wonky because I use I cut some of the flowers out of the back of it. I'm also using my one canoe date stamp to make sure I get the date right. I'm using my ATG gun and I was getting ready to adhere to this um, jewel tone jewel shaped gray cardstock but then I noticed it was a little long so I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to layer that on and you'll notice that the top part goes longer than the bottom part and I'm completely fine with that. I just want little pieces peeking out. I like to have little pieces of the paper peeking out. Oh, it's just so gorgeous that way. And people ask me why I do that and waste such great cardstock, but you know what? I know what's behind there, and I love seeing pieces of it peeking out, and that's just my style. So I'm going to go ahead and now adhere this to one more piece of cardstock, and you'll see I'm using my Caterpillar Pro. This is my favorite, favorite paper trimmer of all time, and it cuts so straight. And it's self-sharpening, so I don't need to buy replacement blades. <sighs> Just the best. And I think I only find it on Amazon nowadays. I'm using my Stampin' Up! Foam Dimensionals, and I'm going to adhere this. Just put some pieces um, to the layers so that it has some uh, dimension. I love adding this kind of dimension to my layout. Now I'm going to get bring my paper back. It's the gesso has dried and I'm using my Prima watercolors and I'm going into like that mint green color. I used my watercolor pen because I didn't have a cup of water to add water to the paint and then I'm just using a regular paint brush to paint that mint green kind of color all over. Now you'll see that I put my photo like where I think I'm going to have it so I want it on the top left portions of the um, cardstock and the bottom right. So you'll notice that I'm focusing the paint there. After I do that, I'm looking at different stickers. These are the clear stickers that came with the kit. Well, I purchased the kit as a bundle, but these are all separate. You can buy these separately on the Coco Vanilla website if they're available. I will go ahead and link um, their website down below in case you're interested. Um, I decide not to use that beautiful moment right this second because I decide I'm going to use it in a different way. So I'm waiting for the paper to dry and while I'm doing that I um, it's mostly dry I'm not very patient but I'm using the Tombow Mono multi adhesive to adhere the photo um, to the cardstock and while I'm waiting I decide to splatter with black ink and here I'm using the Heidi Swap color shine but I know that that's not available so any black ink will do if you're interested in, in doing something like this so I put a little bit more inky. I can't get rid of the inky, I know. I have a friend who says, stop inking it. <laughs> you know who you are if you're watching. So I decide to go ahead and um, place my photo down and I'm gonna use those clear stickers, the beautiful moments. And this is a picture of my son doing his 20 minutes of reading and he just laid down on our wood floor and just started reading for 20 minutes. But I love that my kids, um, even though they're forced to do it, I love when they read. I just think it's such a great escape and it's it's great for the brain. So anytime they're reading, I like to take pictures. And I'm just noticing now that my photo is not on straight, but that's okay. And I love how the clear stickers that the Beautiful Memories is on sh shows the uh, mint green paint through the clear stickers. 
So this is a cut apart that I'm using and I'm using my vintage dark gray zebra sarasa pen and I'm journaling. Uni is doing his required 20 minutes of reading before electronics. Now that's one of the rules in our house. They are allowed to do electronics on the weekends and um, they can only do it after they read, do math, do their chores, and after it's 11 a.m. <laughs> so they count down. As soon as the clock strikes 11, they are on their electronics. It's crazy. But you know what? It gets them to do the stuff they're forced to do. So whatever it takes is what I say. No judging on parents who blackmail their kids because, um, yep, I'm known for doing that. And I'm, I'm okay with it. So I'm going to put that on the left-hand side of my photo. And I decide to put it under one of the layers. And I'm going to do that. And I popped it up on foam dimensionals. And my favorites are the Stampin' Up! foam dimensionals. I'm going through the die cut pieces. And you know what? The die cut pieces from Coco Vanilla are gorgeous. Seriously. It comes with so many floral pieces, which I love. And people ask me, why do you use floral pieces on or make it girly, quote unquote, for your boy layouts? And what I tell them is that these um, layouts are for me. They're not for my kids. They're for me and my memories and my process. And this making scrapbook layouts is my way of doing or managing my mental health. Um, because I do struggle with it. So um, these are for me. And when I die, they can pry them out of my cold dead hands. That's what I say. So I will put whatever I jolly well please <laughs> on these layouts. So I'm still going through the die cuts and I'm putting some flat, putting some with foam dimensionals. And I just love the look of these. So you'll see I'm putting those down and I'm going to go through um, and put a little bit more black ink on the bottom left photo. I'm using my Nouveau Drops in Indigo Ink, or Indigo Eclipse, I'm sorry. These are beautiful because they kind of have a pearlized um, effect to it, and I apologize that my camera got out of focus there for a little bit. But I'm putting three dots into the three areas of um, embellishment clusters, and then I decide to add one of these flares. So the flare that I end up using is Every Moment Matters, and I going to stick that onto the top left of my photo and then I'm going to go through the sticker pack I look through the clear stickers and I think I'm going to use something but I end up not using that one because you can't really see it on the photo so then I go through the sticker collection which is on the 6 by 12s and I'm using word stickers that says our stories and I'm going to put that right under the flower on the bottom left hand side I'm going to use a flag sticker that says love you on the top right hand side. And then I'm going to call my layout done, I think. Yep. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. And share this video with people who you think might enjoy these types of process videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.